guys, so just a quick update on my braces. It is day three today and they still feel very, very uncomfortable. I haven't had any staining at all so far, but I haven't really had a chance to eat normally anyway. So I've been eating lots of sugary treats actually, which I actually shouldn't be doing, but I can't eat many things. So yeah, in regards to pain, this tooth here, really 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 hurts like really hurts I keep knocking it sometimes like just you know even when I was washing my face touching my mouth and when I'm speaking as well the bottom teeth clash with like the back of the front teeth and it really hurts so I have to be really careful of with how I speak or when I eat as well I didn't realize how much the braces affect my speech but it really does and I think it's just because my mouth can't move the way it wants to it gets caught on top or i have to push it right over do you know what i mean and not move my face too much but it's like whenever i smile or i do a big expression i have to do this <laughs> to get my mouth back over it or else just get caught like this like. so i never really thought that would be an issue i never really heard anyone complain about that so yeah that's news to me and it's pretty annoying and I just hope that I get used to it I don't know why I didn't think the braces would affect my speech that much yeah because my niece has braces at the moment and her speech is fine so I'm just hoping that I, again that I, my mouth just gets used to speaking the way it needs to speak I haven't needed to take any paracetamols yet I did almost because of this tooth when I woke up this morning it was aching quite a lot and I think it was just because the way my teeth are resting like I found my <laughs> I found like these teeth were resting on it when I woke up and it was like quite painful yeah it's really painful but it's not enough to take a paracetamol over so yeah I'm gonna refrain as much as I can and try not to have any painkillers and unless it's absolutely necessary I still can't bite food so I can't bite into food i have to place the food like at the back and chew very slowly and i've just been eating really soft food still ice cream pancakes <laughs> it's about four or five o'clock now and i've only had pancakes in the morning to eat and that's because one it hurts to eat two you have to brush your teeth every time you eat as well the food gets stuck in your braces and it gets stuck in your braces quite a lot like you don't even realize how much food is in the braces whenever i eat i make sure to like swish my mouth with water to get all the the food off my braces and then i'll go ahead and brush my teeth as well just so that there's no food stuck in my brace i've been drinking everything apart from water through a straw so fruit juice coffee i'll use my straws and make sure none of the liquid gets on my brace because i'm not trying to stain my brace either i will probably try and just have like a normal day of eating when i'm due to go back to the dentist just to see how much staining actually occurs with like curries and spaghetti bolognese and you know stuff that i usually eat because i'm curious i'm curious to see how much staining is going to actually occur with the clear because the way it's going right now this is really 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 good <laughs> like there's no staining whatsoever but then again i've not really eaten any food i've not really drank any strong colored liquids or anything like that it's really really annoying with my lip i just feel like my lip is pushing out quite a lot i don't know if you can see it on the viewfinder on the camera it doesn't look that bad so i'm just hoping it doesn't look that bad to you guys either but yeah this is what they look like <laughs> so yeah i actually feel like there's some straightening happening already as i said there wasn't much to do with my top row anyway it's just like the canines need to be rotated and the front teeth need to be pushed back and the pain that i'm feeling is all on the front four teeth so i feel like the movement coming backwards is what's happening right now there's a gap here that's occurred but again i was told that gaps can appear just to make room for the other teeth to be able to move because this teeth here i think it's this one 
the canine it's so close to the, to the tooth next to it behind it where i can't even get the floss through it. it's like that tight and i guess that's where the gaps came come in for the teeth to be able to move this tooth hurts the most though it really 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 hurts i'm curious to see how much pain the painkillers take away so i might take it and see what happens what else i'm gonna have fish and chips today and see how that goes the fish is pretty soft and the chips are soft as well so fingers crossed better try and eat something right now because i'm really hungry <laughs> The dentist phoned me yesterday morning, by the way, just to see how everything was going on, to see if I'm feeling too much pain or whatever, and just told me to let them know if, you know, I start to feel too much pain or if any of the brackets come off again or anything like that. I don't know if I just mentioned it, but I did end up applying wax last night because the pain was too much to bear. <laughs> so right at the back of my mouth here, where the anchor teeth so it's the very back teeth the wire ends there and i think as the teeth strain out the wire kind of like moves a little bit outwards so you start to feel it i think that's what i'm feeling right now or it could be when i got the the others changed the lady didn't cut off the back so that's that was digging me quite a lot it's just like a small piece the smallest piece of wire and it was just cutting up my mouth um, so I have like sores back there. So I put some wax there. And I put some wax on these hooks as well. Here. Because it's dripping up my mouth at the top. On both sides as well. And then I put some more wax on the front hooks as well. Because I just thought, you know what. I just don't want to feel any sort of rubbing right now. And it's a lot more comfortable with the wax. I'm not going to lie. I felt like I was talking more smoothly. And my lip wasn't getting caught. My lip wasn't getting caught as much. So yeah, I probably will apply some more wax um, after I eat maybe, I don't know. I don't feel much pain. Oh. <laughs> I just felt the, the back wire nip my cheeks. I'm gonna apply some wax there. I think it's when you move your cheeks around in a certain way, like it rubs. So yeah, I put the wax on last night and I took it off this morning when I brushed my teeth and I didn't put any back on. Cause surprisingly the cheeks actually did heal quite quickly i put bongella on both sides as well so it wasn't it wasn't hurting me as much it wasn't hurting me all day until just now <laughs> so i'm gonna apply some more wax um the wax is quite sturdy it stays on until you actually take it off you just have to make sure the area is dry like just dab the tooth with like a piece of cloth or some tissue and just apply the wax quickly it's quite fiddly to get right at the back but i got it done and it helped so much. Because um, a lot of people said, oh, wax is going to be your best friend. And I was like, hmm, I don't need it. But it really does help. Like, the pain wasn't bad until it was bad. Do you know what I mean? Once I realised that it was hurting me and I saw how red it was back there, I'll probably insert some pictures to show you guys. I started to feel the pain more. <laughs> it's a bit like when you cut yourself and you don't realise and then you notice the cuts there and it, just, it starts to hurt you. It's a bit like that. Um, I'll try and show you guys. I don't know if you can see that, but that is really sore. And that's what it was like. I can't feel it now. But once I took my cheek away from it, I started to feel the pain. Just like I did just now. So I'm going to definitely put some wax on right now. But yeah, I feel like I'm going to be making so much content for my braces. I've got so much to talk about. <laughs> but yeah. I reckon the updates will get less and less as the time goes on just because I feel like there's not really much to talk about like in the in between stages but first initial reactions and experiences are good to know so hopefully this helps somebody out there because there's a lot of videos that I've watched and I feel like everybody's individual experience was different so hopefully my video can also help somebody out. A lot of people actually felt pain strict like within an hour or within four hours like my niece said she felt pain within four hours mine took until day three to start feeling some sort of pain where i've actually questioned taking paracetamols and it's because of this tea here it feels bruised like it feels bruised so yeah Ugh. i just wonder if invisalign hurts as well i mean it should it must do because it's your teeth shifting do you know what i mean but maybe not as much because i feel like the braces they do 
a lot more work when they're tight and that's why you have to keep getting them tightened because they do the most work when they're the tightest oh the tightest <laughs> it keeps banging the oh it keeps banging my teeth but yeah <sighs> yes i'm going to find something to eat now and put some wax on i'll update you guys another time maybe i'll do like the rest of the week and then i'll start doing it monthly from then all right so i'll see you in the next update bye mm -hmm.